Hello everybody. Uh changed some Minecraft settings, so hopefully this recording is a little bit faster, but there's really no way to tell, so meh. Okay, so I'm gonna start making tutorials on this channel. Hopefully you don't really care and you'll learn a little bit from this, but yeah. So you can build some of this stuff. So first we're gonna start off with monostable circuits. So if you don't know what monostable circuits are, they're a pretty cool thing. So from here, I have input 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going to start out with the, just a standard monostable circuit. Oh jeez, this is why I don't like doing stuff I mess up all the time. So this is a standard monostable circuit. You can either do it like this, like this, whatever you, uh, whatever you really desire. So when you press this lever, a one tick redstone output comes up, but my computer just has to be laggy because all these are loaded so you can't really see it that well but I just saw it a falling edge monostable stable circuit is a little bit more complex I'm gonna build it just like this so you can see it actually above the ground so this is a falling edge monostable stable circuit that means when you press down it won't come out when you press up an output does come out and it's also one tick this one, when you press it, it comes out. So now this one's gonna be the I guess dual edge monostable circuit. I think it's called. So there's the easy way, which is observer, obviously. I'm just gonna put that right there so you can see it. Boom, 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 boom. So every time you press the lever, you know it gives an output. Wrong thing. Wrong thing again. Okay. Or you can do it the traditional way, which I much rather prefer. This is not my design. This is some other person's design. But I forgot the name. But I should probably say it anyways. I got it from... I think from Mumbo Jumbo's video. I don't know. But so this is a dual edge monostable circuit. So here you gave a one tick pulse. And there just gave another one tick pulse. I don't know why I just destroyed that. But or, again, you can just use the observer one. Or you can use hopper clocks. Uh, don't look at this stuff. Not hopper clocks, but dropper hopper stuff. So from here, you can do a design kind of like this. Put something in there. Put the comparator here, here, and this redstone so you can see it. So this is actually falling edge monostable circuit. You can add a torch right there, so it becomes the regular monostable circuit. So if you add a torch right here, that'll do it. But when you make when you do this, make sure you don't want to block there, because then it'll completely ruin the system. Because then you'll activate both of them at the same time and possibly lock the hawk lock the hopper so yeah this is your monostable circuit well it's not really monostable it's actually not one tick oh jeez this is another reason why I don't do tor there are tutorials so you can like switch that output and look that I don't know I don't really use these that often, even though they're really compact and I probably should, but I don't. So what can you get from this? Monostable circuits are cool because... So say I inserted a monostable circuit here. I'm going to make this dual edge because that's the easiest type of monostable circuit. Just an observer. If you don't know, some monostable circuits can be used like this. One tick pulses spit out their block. Also zero tick pulses if you didn't know. And you could use that for a variety of reasons, like block swappers and stuff. I don't really care. But yeah, that's one way you should use monostable circuits. Another reason monostable circuits do not affect torches. Like they're just gonna stay the same. See so as you can see there. There is an actual output. You can see that right there. You probably don't know how this is giving an output or how some of these are giving an output. 
We're probably gonna learn in another tutorial that I'm probably gonna give like eight trillion years later because I'm too lazy to upload videos on my own and I have to remind myself to upload videos because you know I'm too lazy so yeah I'll go over it a little bit right now so if you didn't know this redstone is powering this 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 and this when it's activated because this redstone is actually going in all directions there's just not a skin for that I'm using a texture pack but on the pocket edition you can see that okay so if I did this, and I activated this, this lever will activate this because it's hard powering this, which soft powers that, which you know activates it. And because it's going in all directions, you can see that it gives an output in all directions, right? Now, when redstone's like this, it does give an output because this is hard powering this block, which means it's powered and it gives an output here, output here. And then same here. It's hard powering. Well, actually, this one might be soft powering. I don't. I mean, I need to check on that. So, see, it does give an output, and you can add a piston, sticky piston, under that to make it mono stable. Okay. From here, when you hard power blocks, we just get some redstone lamps. Do I have a redstone lamp on me? Yes, I do. So when I hard power things this is hard powered so this will soft power this but if you see something like this it won't work because this is hard powering this which is soft powering this which really gives no output for that With one exception but pistoning if you don't know what that is this piston is being powered when I push this on it just does not know that until a block update happens when I turn this off this piston actually turned off doesn't know not until a block update happens you can use that in this case also, it's being powered here and here. You just don't know that because it's blood powered. Okay, a little bit more you might want to know just for redstone basic sake. Comparators give, can give an output across from blocks like this. Um. And I'm just saying red redstone facts that can come in handy. This is a redstone torch burnout clock. If you want it to be infinite, you can just do this. Wait. Do that. It's going to create a pretty nice clock. Oh jeez. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's a lot of sound going on right now. I'm going to just turn that off by doing that. Oh, well, that's my other build. Observers can see if another observer is being powered. Like, see, well, not power, but change, because it counts as a block update. Like, same here, redstone block update. Uh, observers give an up update when it's on and off, unless it's a monostable circuit output. So if I did this, put a redstone lamp here. See, it only gives one output. Well, this is a dual edge, but if I did this, it will give one output, not two. Also, transparent blocks. If you guys don't know what a transparent block is, well, it's basically transparent, like. Yeah, redstone lamps are not transparent, but observers are. So basically, they don't count as a real block. So redstone can go through them. If you try to give a redstone output through them, it won't work. Because this is not a real block. Well, it's a block, but you know what I mean. So like if I did this, it won't give an output right here. What if I... Let's say... Okay, I messed up right there. So the redstone torch is not powering this because it's a transparent block it's not going through it completely okay from here you can see that redstone can power through this and another important thing slabs if you guys don't know what a slab is it's this because this is a stone slab upside down half slabs are very important in redstone you can do this and it goes up you can have different outputs here. 
and then you press it off, it goes down. But, if you power up here, it does not go down. Because half, half slabs don't want to go down. Because they want to keep all the rest of them to themselves. No, I'm joking. That's a conspiracy theory. Don't listen to conspiracy theories. Okay. Also, half slabs will... Well, upside down half slabs. You can't put redstone on regular half slabs. They will power anything underneath them. Like this. But... They're not gonna butt power anything. Because... That's not a real block. It's only giving an output there. Kind of interesting. I can... It can also power redstone, or not redstone. Wait. It cannot power redstone lamps because of a reason. I just realized. I didn't actually know that. But, if you didn't know, sticky pistons and pistons are also transparent blocks. Glass is a transparent block, and I'm kind of all over the place because this is my first redstone tutorial video type thing. Yeah, also here, you can see this is powered because this is going towards that, which means it's powering it, but also giving an output down here. That can be useful, I guess, in some parts. Uh, upside down, half slab towers can be blocked by a solid block. If you put a regular block there, it's not going to block it. Or not regular block, if you put a transparent blocks. Slabs are transparent blocks, so you can do that. Like, I don't know if you can do that with redstone lamps. Probably not. Yeah. But I know you can do it with glowstone, because glowstone's a transparent block. So yeah, that's probably going to wrap up this episode of a crazy redstone thing to try to help you guys build some of these things that you probably won't be able to do because you're too lazy like me. But hey... So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. That's the thing that my sister built over there, and adios.